Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. During this video I'll be showing you how you can make your own take damage effect that you see most often in shooting games, FPS games and stuff like that. So this is the final result we're going to be getting. So um, most often you'll see kind of a um, kind of bloodish red effect after taking damage and this is to, to kind of notify the player that they took damage. So let's get started and get straight into it. And the first thing you're going to need is go to package manager. And install the post processing uh, package and we are going to be using this specific package but there are other packages or pipelines that include these the post processing effects so if you are using any other than the post processing you may have an issue with the scripting part of the video so make sure to have this one uh, specifically okay so once you install that you need to go to your camera so the main camera that you have on your scene and you need to include a post process layer and just to show you how that is done if i were to create a camera and add post process layer this is what you're going to be looking like and you can see that the trigger is already set to the camera and then we have the layer and you need to set a layer for this for that the effects are going to be taking place so just create a new layer by going layer add layer and create it a post process layer I named mine like this you can name it to whatever you want and so uh, you need to set the layer to uh, post processing you don't need to actually set the layer to of this camera to post processing only the layer for the post process layer so I'll just get rid of this extra camera now you will need a game object that will hold all of the effects that we're going to be adding to the post processing so create a new game object wherever you want to do your scene change its layer to post processing which is the layer that you just created and also include the post process volume so the post process volume is where all of the effects are going to be stored and you can see that um, let me just create uh, and replicate what i mean so going on to here changing the post processing then adding a post process volume this is what you're going to be getting you need to set the is global to uh, be ticked and this will kind of uh, have your effects in place wherever you are into your game and then create a new profile kind of like this and it's automatically created and then add an override then cl click vignette and the vignette is this kind of um, effect that you see on the screen where these sides are kind of shaded so that is what you need to do I'm just going to get rid of that as well so this is how I changed and modified the vignette. So in order for, to, for you to modify this, you need to click on these boxes and then modify the values. I changed the color to kind of reddish and the intensity to be around 0.4. I also changed the smoothness and roundness to 1. So this is all you need for the vignette. Then now let's go to the script that we're going to be actually triggering this because we don't want to have this effect all the time enabled only when you're taking damage and then kind of smoothly decaying it and reducing it to nothing so um let's get to it we have this script right here i've named it take damage script doesn't really matter what you name it you need three variables the intensity uh, of where the vignette intensity is currently and i set it to zero we need the volume that we had uh, right here so this is the volume that we're going to be getting and also we need the vignette so we're getting these two as you can see volume and vignette and also before I forget you need to include this into your script to actually gain access to these keywords and these types because otherwise it will give you an error so make sure to copy this into your um, script so we, these variables and we need to populate them into the start function we're going to be doing that by getting the component of post process volume and for to get the vignette we're going to be using the profile that we just created right here so these profiles hold the effects that we're going to be adding onto here and through that profile we're going to be gaining access to the vignette because this is not actually a component as you can see it's uh, kind of uh, included into the volume which is holding everything into the profile so we need to gain access to the profile of this volume and then try to get the setting of vignette and we're passing in the uh, vignette uh, variable that we created above and if this effect is in place for in your volume we are going to be getting that back populated with a reference of that vignette and i'm just going to be checking here is if the vignette has been null so in case this that is null we're going to be printing an error 
else we're going to be disabling it uh, to start the game because we don't want it to be enabled at the start and for the example here i'm going to be using mouse inputs to actually call the function that i'm going to be showing you instead of actually taking damage obviously you need to uh, kind of modify it to what you need so whenever your player takes damage call this function and the function is pretty simple we're going to be using an enumerator to gain access to the wait for seconds if you're not sure what an enumerator is um, all you need to know is that we are going to be using it for the wait for seconds which essentially when it reaches this point right here we're going to going to be waiting 0 0.4 seconds so the function was going to be stopped stopped from running for this duration and once that passes it will carry on running I'll be showing you exactly what I mean right now. So to get started, we set the intensity to 0 0.4, which is the starting intensity that I want the effect to be starting. And I'm going to be slowly decaying this intensity. I'm also enabling the vignette by the way you see it here, vignette.enable.override.true. This uh, how you're usually going to be modifying effects. So you can see again, the intensity, vignette, intensity, override, and then the value that you want to be passing in. So this is how you modify the values for the effects. Then I'm waiting 0 0.4 seconds and then entering a, a while loop. And this will give me like a small duration where the intensity is going to be set at the maximum 0 0.4 and then slowly decay back down to zero. So while the intensity is above zero, I'm going to be reducing slowly the intensity by 0 0.01 so each time it iterates, it's going to be slowly decaying it. You can change it to whatever you want here. So how fast or slow you want it to be. The smaller, the better because it's more smoother. So I'll keep that in mind. Then in case the intensity is beneath zero, we don't want negative numbers to be passed into the uh, override. So I'm just going to be ensuring that in case it's beneath zero, I'm going to be setting it to zero. And then I'm overriding the intensity with the a value of the variable that we have in our script and then using this wait for seconds to wait for 0 0.1 seconds so that will give me a small and smooth transition from the max value that we have of 0 0.4 to 0 and once the while loop is done so each time it's going to be iterating over and over again until the intensity is to 0 is set to 0 and once that is done we're going to be exiting the while loop disabling the vignette and exiting the script uh, the function sorry so going back to this and showing you another time how this looks if i were to click have a look at the right right hand side you can see that currently the vignette is off so it's disabled and once i click that uh, it's turned into on you can see a small delay of the intensity and slowly and gradually dropping to zero so again enabling it 0 0.4 small delay King again to zero and you can see the intensity value here so this is the video hopefully hopefully you found this useful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe onto the channel uh, thank you for watching have a good rest of your day and goodbye